Hello students, in this video we are going to solve a couple of problems and all these problems or all these numericals will be based on Nerd's equation. Now Nerd's equation is basically the equation which helps us calculate the electrode potential of a particular electrolytic cell when we measure it with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode. Let us see how to solve these problems. Let us see some solve examples with respect to the Nerd's equation. The first is the standard electrode potential of zinc ions is 0 0.76 volts. So whenever we try to solve an equation or any kind of numerical, we need to first understand what is given to us. Over here, they have given the standard electrode potential of zinc ions and the value is 0 0.76 volts. What will be the potential of a 2 molar solution at 300 K? The second thing they have given to us is the concentration of the solution which is 2 molar. The third thing they have given to us is the temperature which is 300 Kelvin. Once we make a list of everything that is given to us, now let us see what is asked. What will be the potential? They have asked the electrode potential or the potential of that particular electrolyte whose concentration is given to us and the temperature is given to us. Till now I have not even applied the equation, till now I have not even started solving but in my head, I am clear what is given and what is asked. This is something we need to develop while we are solving the problem, while we are solving the numerical. Two things we should be very clear about. When we are reading it, before even we start solving it, we should know what is given and what is asked specifically. Now let us move on to the solution. The Nerd's equation for the given conditions can be written as so over here we have mn plus m now this entire thing over here is the equation so e naught 2.3 naught 3 rt by nf into log by mn plus here we know that e naught is 0 0.76 volts it is already given to us we also know that n is 2 because the concentration was given to us as a 2 molar solution and F is 96500, 96, calorie per mole. Now generally the values of F are assumed to be known. And that is the reason why based on that assumption we have written 96500 calorie per mole. Let us try taking and placing it. So over here we have 2 molar. We should always know the value of R which is 8.314, temperature is 300 Kelvin. Substituting the given values in the Nerd's equation. So over here E of Zn2 plus slash Zn, of course we are talking about zinc in this particular problem. So we have taken the equation for zinc, it is 0 0.76. Now why do I have written 0 0.76 because that particular value is given to us in the question itself. So if that particular value is given to us in the question itself, we will have to make use of that value. Minus 2.303 into 8.314. From Where did 8.314 come? That is the value of R. That is the universal value of R into T. T is the temperature, over here we know T is 300. By NF, we know N is 2 because in the question it is given to us as 2 molar. And F that is the finite value which is 96,500. Into log and then when we calculate the entire thing, we have 0 0.76 minus when we multiply 2.303 into 8.314 into 300 and divide it by 2 into 96,500. The entire thing 
the entire calculation comes to be 0 0.769 volts. Therefore, the potential of a 2 molar solution at 300 Kelvin is 0 0.769 volts. Let us see another example. From the following standard potentials, arrange the metal in order of the increasing reducing power. Now in the previous one, we already had given certain amount of concentration, temperature, a particular electrode potential and we were supposed to find another electrode potential. Now this particular numerical is a completely different kind of numerical. In this the standard potentials are given. We have to arrange the metals in order of the increasing reducing power. Zn2 plus plus 2 electrons. Now over here they have given zinc in the aqueous form. Zinc ions, zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons gives me zinc which is minus 0 0.76 volts. Calcium 2 plus plus 2 electrons gives me calcium which is minus 2.87 volts. Magnesium 2 plus plus 2 electrons gives me magnesium which is minus 2.36 volts. Nickel 2 plus plus 2 electrons gives me nickel which is zero, minus 0 0.25 volts. Again over here they have given another potential but over here what have they done is they have actually switched or flipped the entire reaction. The element is the same nickel giving me nickel 2 plus plus 2 electrons and instead of minus 0 0.25 it has become plus 0 0.25 volts. Now the reducing part of metal increases with its ability to give up electrons that is lower standard potential. If I have certain elements which can give up their electrons easily that means that particular element has a good reducing power. Thus arranging the reduction potentials in the decreasing order gives us the increasing order of the reducing power of the metals. So what will it be? It will be nickel minus 0 0.25 lesser than zinc which is minus 0 0.76 lesser than magnesium which is minus 2.36 lesser than calcium which is minus 0 0.28 and so on. This is how the entire arrangement goes on. Moving on to the third one. What is the cell potential of the electrochemical cell in which the cell reaction is Pb2 plus plus cadmium giving me Pb plus cadmium 2 plus. Now what is happening over here? They have given that Pb2 plus that means lead 2 plus plus cadmium is giving me lead plus cadmium 2 plus. Given that EF cell is 0 0.277 volts, temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, concentration of cadmium 2 plus is 0 0.02 molar, concentration of Pb2 plus is 0 0.2 molar. As we all know, concentration of different components is given to us. E of cell is given to us, temperature is given to us and the cell reaction is given to us. So from the question itself, while reading the question itself, we come to know what all things are given to us. Then we need to understand what is asked, what are we supposed to find and that is the cell potential. We are supposed to find the cell potential. Okay. Moving on, let's go to the solution. Since the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, the Nernst equation can be written as E of cell is equals to E naught cell minus 0 0.0592 by N log 10 Q. Here, 2 moles of electrons are being transferred and that is the reason why the value of N would be 2. The reaction will be given as Cd2 plus slash Pb plus 
that will be 0 0.02 upon 0 0.2 which comes out to be 0 0.1. Over here, we have just found out the different values of n and q just by looking at the question and substituting the particular values that are given. Now, these values will be substituted into the Nerth's equation and the answers will be found out. The equation can be rewritten as E of cell is equals to 0 0.277 which is E naught of cell which is already given to us minus 0 0.0592 by n we know n is equals to 2 we just found out that so over here in place of n i'm substituting it with 2 into log 10 q we also found out the value of q which is 0 0.1 now when we try solving it we have 0 0.277 minus they have just divided 0 0.0592 by 2 and got the answer as 0 0.0296 and log of 10 of 0 0.1 that means log of 0 0.1 to the base 10 comes out to be minus 1 so it becomes 0 0.277 minus 0 0.0296 into minus 1 minus into minus becomes plus and thus we get 0 0.3066 volts does the cell potential of this electrochemical cell at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius is 0 0.3066 volts. Moving on to the fourth question over here. The copper ion is given to us Cu2 plus ion concentration in copper silver electrochemical cell is 0 0.1 molar. This particular sentence gives us a lot of information. The first information that is given is that copper ion is Cu2 plus. The second information it is giving is that the entire electrolytic cell has copper and silver in it. The third information it is giving is that a copper ion, the concentration of the copper ions is 0 0.1 molar. If E0 Ag plus by Ag is 0 0.8 volts, again another piece of information E0 of Ag plus by Ag, the Q value is 0 0.8 volts and E0 of Cu2 plus by Cu is 0 0.34 volts and the cell potential at 25 degrees Celsius is 0 0.422 volts. E0 is also given to us, the temperature is also given to us. Find the silver ion concentration. We are supposed to find the concentration of silver ion. So the things that are given over here are the concentration of the copper ions, the fact that it is a copper silver electrochemical cell, E0 of Ag plus by Ag, E0 of Cu2 plus by Cu, the entire cell potential as well as the temperature. Many things are given to us and one thing is asked that is the silver ion concentration. Let us see the solution of the same. Here the silver electrode acts as a cathode whereas the copper electrode serves as an anode. Now how did we understand that? How did we come to know that the silver is acting as a cathode and copper is acting as an anode? Because in the question, they have given Cu2 plus ion. Cu2 plus ion is a positive ion. If it is a positive ion, that means that particular ion will be a cation. And cation will always go towards the cathode. That means copper is always going towards silver. The cation will not go towards the anode. Thus, we came to know that the silver electrode is the cathode and the copper electrode is an anode. This is because the standard electrode potential of silver electrode is greater than the copper electrode. Even if we do not know the standard potentials, just by looking at the question, we can find out which is the cathode, which is the anode by finding out the cations and anions. And it is very easy to find out what is a cation and what is an anion. Cations are positive in nature, anions are negative in nature. The standard electrode potential of the cell can now be calculated as shown. Let us try calculating it. E of cell is E of cathode minus E of anode. That means E of cathode minus E of anode. E of cathode already given to us. E of anode already given to us. Both of them are there in the question. E of cathode is 0 0.8. E of anode is 0 0.34. So 0 0.8 minus 0 0.34 leads to 0 0.46 volts. 
since the charge on the copper is 2 plus and the charge on the silver is 1 plus the balanced cell reaction will be 2 ag plus plus copper giving me 2 ag plus copper 2 plus 2 silver atoms plus 1 copper is giving me 2 silver plus 1 copper 2 plus since 2 electrons are transferred in the entire cell reaction, my N will be 2. Now the dots equation for this electrochemical cell can be written as follows. E of cell is nothing but E naught of cell minus 0 0.0592 by N. And we have just found out that the value of N is 2 in 2 log of 0.1 into Ag plus. Which comes out to be E of cell we already know. 0.422 we just found out E naught of cell is 0.46 minus if we divide 0.0592 by 2 we get 0.0296 into log of 0.1 is minus 1 and minus 2 log of Ag plus. Therefore just shifting minus 2 log of Ag plus on one side and 0 0.0422 on other side, I get minus 2 log of Ag plus is equals to 1.283 plus 1, which is 2.283. So what will I do? I'll just shift that 2 down. So 2.283 divided by 2 will become 1.141. So log of Ag plus will be minus 1.41. And therefore, Ag plus will be anti-log of minus 1.141 which comes out to be 0 0.722 molars. That means the concentration of Ag plus is 0 0.0722 molars. And that was exactly asked in the question. So with this, we finish all the numericals based on the Lotz equation. We saw three different kinds of numericals and we tried solving each and every one of that, getting the solutions. Thank you.